This room is called the Mercury Room. I'm not sure if the king was sleeping here at all, but hold on, hold on. There, there's a phone call. The king is calling. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Peace, and I'm traveling around the world. So let's peace out and go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Versailles Palace, the very historic Versailles Palace, the residence of many historic kings and royal families. This place was built in the early 16th century when Louis XIII built his first lodge in this place and then rebuilt and became a palace years later by Louis the King the 14th, even Napoleon made his residence right here in the years between 1810 and 1814. So, without further ado, let's try getting tickets and get in there and show you the magnificent and unbelievable beauty of history of France. All right, guys, we are in now at the Versailles Palace. Look at that room right here. Oh, I'm showing myself instead of the room. How funny. <laughs> All right, let's continue. So in this picture you can see Louis the King the 13th. And some great art pictures of uh, the palace from the olden times. Right out there is the gardens, the beautiful gardens of the Versailles Palace. And here is another beautiful painting of Louis Philip I, who was king of the French from 1830 to 1848. He was the last king and the penultimate monarch of France. Yep, here is another one, a beautiful image of, uh, again, a painting of Louis Philip the King and his royal family. What a beautiful picture. Here we're going up the stairs towards the uh, rooms of the Versailles Palace and the galleries and you can see from the windows the stunning gardens of the Versailles Palace. Remember that room that I first showed you when I entered the palace? So this is actually the same room, uh, just from the uh, second floor. So you see how beautiful it is. You can see the ceiling right here. Look at those beautiful pillars and these crafted golden uh, decorations. This is just unbelievable. What a room, what a room. So this room that you just saw was the room which Louis XIV, Louis the King XIV has decided to refurbish after a few years when his father actually had built this building and at the time it was just a brick and a stone palace but that beauty that you just saw was refurbished by his son Louis the King the 14th all right so now we are going to enter the exceptional marble decorated room which is called the Hercules let's see so we have just entered the Hercules room, which was built at 1710 by Louis XIV at the end of his reign. And the name of this room is actually named after the guy who has painted this beautiful ceiling that you see up right here. And his name was Hercules, as you guessed. This ceiling, this beautiful painted ceiling, was considered at the time the largest painted ceiling in the world and 
is actually the biggest painted ceiling in the Versailles Palace. So let me show you around a little bit so you can have a glimpse of that beautiful room. Pardon me for the distraction. If you enjoy this content, please hit the like button. Thank you. So all these rooms that we are passing by right now are beautiful rooms, like a corridor to the State Department of the Kings of Versailles, which is the main room that we are going to see soon. Okay, so this room is the Mercury or Mercury room. Uh, this is, I guess, uh, you see the beautiful bed over here and everything else, but uh, I'm not sure the king was sleeping here, actually. Hold on, hold on, there, there's a phone call, the king is calling, hold on just a second. <laughs> but look at this amazing ceiling, it's, I, I'm speechless when I see this, I mean when you're here and you see this, it's unbefreaking believable. <laughs> so this room that you just saw was the Mercury room, which uh, the king never slept there, but it was a ceremonial room before time of bed. So before we are entering this magnificent room in the Versailles Palace called the Hall of Mirrors, you pass by the War Room, where Louis, the king, used to discuss the war matters right here. Beautiful Hall of Mirrors. This is the most famous and most beautiful, stunning room in the Versailles Palace. And as you hear me standing right here in front of ancient history, this room, the Hall of Mirrors, consists of 375 beautiful mirrors, which was done years later after this room was actually a terrace once upon a time. Well, this room, which is 74 meters long, and as I said before, has 375 mirrors. It was originally an open terrace, which divided between the apartments of the king and the apartments of the queen. But some years later, the king decided that this terrace isn't good enough because of the weather, which I guess was uh, disturbing or ruining. And that's why he decided to bring a guy who brought the mirrors in and made this room so special. This is the bedroom of the queen. Well, considered if you are a king, you must have a queen. And this is probably the most important room in this palace, I guess. This room is the entrance to the French History Museum, which was opened by King Louis Philippe at 1837, 50 years after the French Revolution. At that time, it was a turbulent time for France. And in an attempt to reconcile them, this is why King Louis Philippe has opened this museum. So let me show you around some of the art here.
guys if you have enjoyed this beautiful video of the versailles palace right behind me please leave a like you know what if you want i'll be reporting you to all the kings that lived here from louis the 13th to the 14th to louis phillips to louis flip flips to anybody else if you want <laughs> so i do hope you have enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe if you want and we'll see you next time peace